<clears throat> I haven't played this for like a week, so... But I have finished it, so it doesn't really matter that much. I'm just getting rid of the trophies and challenge maps. And, uh, yeah, we're still on hard, so it's, you know, same thing. The thing is, though, there's no enemies at all, I don't think. Which is, uh... I think Arkham City actually, like, just always has enemies, even when you finish the game. So it's like, it's not the same, uh... It's not the same as this. Hey, wow, that was quick. I, um... I was trying to get online, but unfortunately, um, my Elgato wasn't connecting, so basically had to, like, screw on with that for a while. What do you call someone who has failed to solve three quarters of my riddle? So that's why I'm kind of late today, but you know, whatever. Anyway, um, I actually watched a speedrun of this last night, and there's some really good skips on it, but uh, yeah, the the a bit too difficult for me to figure out, so I probably won't be doing that. So you have given in and taken my. I guess you could say my run was a. Uh, Pretty much glitchless, so it was kind of okay. I hope it <coughs> anyway, how are you doing anyway? So I forgot to ask. Yeah, I'm not bad. I uh, I just want to kind of get this finished so we can like move on cuz Yeah, I, I hate like not finishing a game, like starting it but not finishing it. So that's kind of why why I'm doing this now. Also taking a break from speedrunning <laughs> cuz I'm kind of sick of Well, I'm not sick of it, but you know, it's it does kind of get old after a while. THPS. Uh I need the Upgrade for that. Range jump, but yeah, that's it. Range. <clears throat> now, I'll probably do Silent Hill next week. Because I know you said you weren't here on the weekend, so I'll, I'll probably just, like, screw around with some other game, and then I'll do it next week when you're... If you're here or whatever. But, um, I will... Probably be playing that game like three, four times through before actually attempting a speedrun of it, anyways, because of what I mentioned yesterday. You pretty much gotta just go through the game normally for like three or four times, and then you know where everything is, pretty much. It's not a long game, though. Oh, damn, that it was right there. So yeah, <clears throat> but I am I'm doing Crash Bandicoot tomorrow as usual. So if you're here for that, that's cool. If not, well, I'll be doing it again in two weeks anyway, so. I really wanted to do a uh, Spyro trilogy, but it's just too damn long. Like, if I could get, like, each game under an hour, or close to an hour, like Crash, I'd probably do it, but. Yeah. It's, it's pretty difficult to do that. So, yeah, this is pretty much not going to be anything amazing right now. It's just collecting Riddler trophies and whatnot. But it's got to be done. At least if you find the map, it tells you where they are. I can kind of remember where most of them are anyway. But you know, These are the best ones, though, where you've got to line it up. Some of them took, like, ages for me to figure out. Like, there's one in, um... 
I think I already got it though. There's one right at the beginning of the game. Oh, I've already got that one. And first time doing it, I was I took so long to do it. Actually, I should probably go in here, actually. I think there's like 140 overall or something. Hang on, let me see. Let's see. 240. I was off by like 100. Never mind. <clears throat> If, as soon as I find the uh, Riddler map for each area, it's much, much easier. Uh, I can't remember where it is, though, in this one. Family's blood ran through the heart of Gotham. We were doctors, politicians, and teachers. We have been the organ cleaning the arterial filth from the city. We have been its servants, giving all to protect it. And still it has chosen to hurt us. Unless I already have the map, no I don't. <clears throat> oh, I think it was actually in that room where Harley was. Which is not this way. Still though, I'll check this place out. Game of Thrones, no. I I watched a few, like the first few episodes, but I never really got into it, to be honest. I should really give it another chance because uh, it's apparently like one of the best series ever. And I'm usually into that kind of stuff as well, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably give it another shot, to be honest. Right, 
I'm in the wrong place altogether now. <clears throat> I know this is kind of boring, but you know. Whatever. I'll get back to speedrunning soon. You gotta have some boring streams sometimes, I guess. I mean, I guess I could, like, just do this off stream, but. You know, why not just stream it? This room is the end of days, even for the most celebrated killer. That's, uh, Calendar Man, if I can find his cell. I think it's down here, actually. I think it's one of these ones. Yep. He's actually in Arkham City and you've got to go to him on certain days of the year. So you, you pretty much just got to uh, change the clock on your system or whatever and then, you know, well, change it to the date. And then go and talk to him. And then quit the game and then go back in, etc. <clears throat> I don't really watch TV either. I think it's a. Uh, I think TV licenses are a complete waste of money, to be honest. And you don't have to pay if you don't watch TV live either. You can just like, you know, watch it on demand or whatever. Uh, I was kind of hoping the map was in here, and it's not. Damn it. I don't think I can... No, I can't go down there yet. I need to turn off the, uh... Well, turn on the vents or something, I think. There's something... I think there's something to get down here. Oh, wait, hold on. No, it's... Yeah, I remember now. Oh, wait, is that the... Oh. I'll probably find it, like, after I've got more than half the Riddler trophies. I won't even need it anymore. So, yeah, I've got to get all these tro uh, riddles because I need to unlock the challenge maps to get 100% uh, I can't remember how you get up there there's a vent I'll get up there somehow I totally want to do uh, THPS 3 again though, but like I don't want to play it too much to the point where I just get sick of it and then not want to play it at all, to be honest, so... Especially now that I've learnt the skip on Suburbia. That was, uh, I was surprised that I could actually do that. It's pretty easy to do it once you figure it out. <clears throat> but that's the thing, I don't know if I can... I don't think I could get it, like, first time. Every time. Damn it, where's this goddamn... Tip. Uh, map. Is this destroyable? I don't know. 
I think it is. Yep. Well, all three of them are, actually. <clears throat> that looks like completely different to all of the breakable walls. That's why I was like, wasn't sure about it. At last, I thought you'd never find it. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything in these other two, but I'll still check them. Yeah. I think I can get to every single riddle now, though, because I've got pretty much all upgrades. I need, I still have some upgrades to get, but it it just makes some stuff easier. Oh wait, I think the I think the map's up here actually. In here. Yep. There we go. Now. We should be able to get everything. Actually, I actually have most of them anyway, so just like I said. <clears throat> I think these tapes also count as the as a trophy. Alright, this is a death trap, this one, so I need to be careful. I'll just let this play out because as soon as I go in there, it'll trigger. Yep. I'll do this now, actually, and then I don't need to waste time gelling it. Actually, I don't think it's a tra uh, As death trap. Veins, actually, slowly filled with pain and suffering, the effects were felt everywhere. My father fell first, infected by some foul disease. My mother lived on. Yeah, there isn't many actually to get in this, so... Uh, oh, there's another one. Damn it. <clears throat> huh. Can't actually remember what you do here. Hmm. Okay. Hold on, let me check my uh, upgrades here, because I think... Whatever it is, I should be able to do it already. Whatever it is, I, could, I don't need that. That doesn't need it. Um... Nope. Whatever it is, I can do it already. Hmm. Unless I just gel that. Hold on, we'll try it. See, I haven't played this game for quite a while, so... That didn't work. <sighs> Hold on, I'll go back up to this room. I might need to activate it. Nope. Shit. I don't remember how you do that. <clears throat> hmm. 
I'm assuming, of course, that it is actually it. Well, it must be in there. Uh, let me check this again. Yeah, it's definitely that. Unless there's a vent somewhere. I don't think. Yeah, you can't go back that way. So yeah, there must be a vent. We'll come back to it. Uh, there's one there. Vote for Harvey Dent. See, most of these villains aren't even in this game, but uh, Arkham City pretty much has all of them. But that was kind of its downfall. It had too many, it had too many stories going on at once, basically. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and get that at some point. <clears throat> I'll clear out this building and then I'll go back to it, and then I don't need to come back here ever again. I think it might be above us actually. Or not. I'm hoping to like get this done by the end of the night, but I don't know. There's a lot of trophies to get. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know if you could like speedrun this, and, like you know, because you skip like a lot of battles, and then I don't know if there's like enough riddles to actually max out your stats and whatnot. So this should be though. Take this. Right, I've got to get up there somehow. There's a bunch in that room, but I can't... Oh, did I shut it off? No, I didn't. Are you up to the challenge? Oh, wait. I'm pretty sure you can shut this off. right there. Right, I think that's it on the wall, whatever it is. Yeah, subject too small. It's, uh... I'm not sure who that is, actually. I'm not the best with Batman villains, but yeah. <clears throat> My journey lasted little over a month. Visiting academics in both Metropolis and Keystone, I was exposed to a wealth of new ideas. I began my day returning home in good spirits, eager to see my wife and family. I ended it needing oh, I know where their it is. blood, yeah. broken fragments of my life, pouring through dripping red fingers. What the hell? Damn, camera move by itself. Yeah. 
Uh, oh yeah, I've got to get that one. Pretty sure it's like... You get to it from here somewhere. This way. Maybe. No. Yes. No. No. There. <clears throat> he pulls those off so much easier when you've got three. Oh man, is there no vent cover here? Damn it. I think he could actually just drop down from that, but I didn't see the cover. <sighs> right, where's next? One, two. It's that one that I need to get. That's the main one right there. I don't know how you get that. <clears throat> Unless I need to use Sonic Batarang. That's uh, that's something that you don't really use that much in this game. Uh, not the Sonic Batarang, the uh, remote one. Which is that. Am I going the right way? No. Oh, great. Now I need to wait for the door. <clears throat> this is arguably the best part of the game, but yeah, I can see why. It might be kind of boring. Looking for a vent cover somewhere. <sighs> Hold on. Nope. Oh, oh, it's a... Oh, man. That's why. I just had to scan it. That's all I had to do. I thought there was a Riddler trophy over there, so I was trying to like break the ice and get over there, but yeah. Damn it. If in doubt, just scan it. Sometimes the doors just take forever to open. I know it's Lord in the area though, but you know, still. <clears throat> okay, one left. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, never mind. Alright, we're done with this building now, so... We never have to come back here, basically. Until we do the challenge maps, which is not really the same thing, but... Okay. Let's see. It's all those. There's one over there, actually. I should go and get that one. Oh, shit. I'm gonna. Yeah. 
That was close. I probably will. I'll just do like a couple of uh, charges tonight because I have got some unlocked, but you know, most of them I can't really do yet. It's mainly the easy ones that I've got unlocked at the moment. The extreme ones come later on. Yeah, see everybody's KO'd, there's no, there's no threat now. It's basically, the hard mode only really affects the uh, story mode, basically. Welcome back. <clears throat> Alright. Oh shit, I should've gone... Never mind. I, I need to go back to that other building because there's some trophies there, obviously. Damn it, I didn't want to do that. That should blow it up, really, but yeah. Okay, I seem to remember there being like a kind of difficult riddle around here. It's one of these three. I might be mistaken though. <clears throat> By the way, I just I just noticed on my um hard drive I actually have Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. I completely forgot that I bought it. What have you been doing with your time? That's just awesome when you like find that you've got a game and it's like I didn't even know I had it. I don't even know when I bought it. Uh, there's one there. That's probably the one that I was talking about that I can't find. Unless there's a ledge over there, I think there might be. No. <sighs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Good thing that happened then, because I wouldn't have found it otherwise. That's probably why they respawn you there, though, so that you actually see it. Okay. There's one over there. Batwing. Yeah, that one's easy. It's right there, I guess. I think it's up there. Hold on. Oh no, I'm miles away from it. It's back there. Oh, damn it. Uh. I'm gonna go back to this building because I need to. I need to go in here. <clears throat> So yeah, we, we did uh, that other building, by the way. I've got all the tr uh, Riddler stuff from there, so I just need to do the rest of them now. <sighs> it's kind of tedious, but it's kind of fun at the same time. First time doing it's fun, but... Yeah. And this one's big, because there's like two floors to it. Uh... Okay. What the hell? Also known as the Riddler. So, Edward, Warden Sharp tells me you've been leaving threatening riddles scrawled on the asylum walls. Again. One would have to be severely paranoid to read threats into harmless riddles, Dr. Young. May I test you with one? Very well. What is it that walks on four legs, then two legs, and finally three legs? A human being. As a baby, it crawls on four legs. As an adult, it walks on two. This should totally make 
another Batman movie with Riddler as the main villain. But like, do it properly, you know, not to my mess work, it up. But I could not shake right. the pictures from my mind. I should have been repulsed, but I was more eager than ever to find an explanation for why someone would do this. Wait a minute. Mm, somewhere. Are you up to the challenge? Hold on, I'll come back to that one. It's downstairs. Very well. My father always called me a moron. I was determined to prove him wrong, so I entered a contest in school. One dollar prize to the kid who could figure out an almost impossible logic problem. I won, of course. And that pleased your father? Hardly. He was convinced I had cheated. He kept yelling, You must have cheated! Admit it, you moron! You cheated! I swore I didn't, and he hit me for lying. I'm sorry to hear that, Edward. Don't be. He was right. I think, actually, this map is the worst one for the extreme. For the challenge maps. Because there's only, like, one way of doing it. I think you got a time limit as well. So you gotta be quick. They brought the animal before me, shameless and barking like a mad dog. For what felt like days, I endured his boasts. He took pleasure recounting his actions, cataloging his depraved crimes. What should have been revenge turned to pity. This poor dog needed my help. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. Uh, I got it. I think this is actually one of the bigger buildings as well, so this one will take a while. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. Our staff are here to help you. When I'm a this Arkham built this fine institution. Few would have believed it could be the premier psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super criminals who've been treated here. But that is only half the story. Our local authorities are responsible for the trusted and unfailing investigation.
The island changed little over the years. Its reputation was in tatters, but I vowed to fix it. As the buildings were rebuilt, I saw the future. A bright, wonderful future. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, few would have believed it would be the premier psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super criminals who've been treated here, but that is only half the story. Our little Type that in, see if it actually exists. Arkhamcare.com slash prices. It probably does. Actually, see if uh, petsovernight.com still exists as well. I think it does, actually. Oh, what the hell? I couldn't move there for a sec. Uh, I got that one. Alright. Nearly done with this floor and then we'll go down to the basement. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. Our staff are here to help you. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine. Man, this is annoying going through here over and over again. Listen uh that over and over. You would have believed your psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation. I should use this more, it's faster. Everyone knows the stories of the various so called Oh shit, what the hell? Oh, they locked themselves in. Alright. That's kind of annoying. I thought I was dropping frames there. No. I don't know what that was about on uh, at the weekend when it was just constantly dropping frames. Like, you know, you when you try, you try everything, you try resetting the internet and everything, and it just doesn't work still. And then some days it's just flawless. Like today. Does it? Nice. Nice. I can't believe that's still up to be honest. Let's look at it a different way. Throughout your career, you have specialized in bizarre traps and convoluted clues that more often than not result in the death of the unfortunate participants. And if the citizens of Gotham were smarter, I heard some teeth. would be merely an amusing diversion. Instead of death traps. You really should be thanking me. Feeding out the ignorance, the stupid thing. Damn it, I don't want to go there. Where is that one? Oh, it's right there. Oh, I know where oh, what it is. It's one of those um question marks, I guess. Yeah, if that one's still up, then that means like pretty much all the GTA 3 ones are still up. That's pretty crazy. <sighs> Damn it! What the hell? Oh, it's the. There you go. <coughs> yeah, we need to we need to do a GTA stream soon. Three Vice City and San Andreas. Back to back. Not all at once though. That would uh, that would be crazy. That'd be like a 72 hour live stream and that would just like not work out very well for me. I don't think I could even do a 24 hour live stream to be honest. Like if I had like so like 24 hours spare but 
you know, not a good idea. Anyway, this is the last one, and then we go down in the basement. I thought I made them easy to find. I guess not. You did. I think you got to go down this in this vent now as well, because the elevator doesn't work. Yeah, you gotta drop down. This is actually the skip. Um, you can actually skip the entire rescuing the doctors and whatnot in the speed run, but it means breaking out of the game world and basically if you fall to your death, then that's it. You gotta do it all over again. Alright, I need to look at the bottom part, which thankfully it's actually just scrolled down itself there. That was easy. I, there's not that many, actually. I say that everywhere I go, to be honest, though. Because I've been pretty much picking them up during the story, so it's not there's not that many. I'll probably finish this building, and then I'll do some challenge maps. Because they're not that difficult. Especially the easier ones, anyway, so... But, you know, it just... It's better to do it, like, instead of doing it all at once. <clears throat> Shock and awe extreme. Oh my god, I got the hard one. That one's the most difficult combat map. A lot of people would say the, um, the other one is with the titans, but I don't think so. There's actually a glitch on that one anyway that you can do. If you can't do that map legit then you can totally just uh, cheat but I won't be doing that Let's see Damn it, how'd you get over there? Mm, turn back. Okay, yeah, my sense of direction isn't great here. That's a big room. What the hell room's that? I don't think I've even been there. Uh, this way? Oh yeah, I must have been here. Oh, I know where it is. It's where Bane was. Yeah. That's also where the map is as well, right there. So I've had this map basically the entire game, but I haven't really used it because I do all the riddles at the end, basically. I really want to do Shock and Extreme right now, though, so I'm going to do that. <coughs> Get it out of the way. Can you defeat a mine such as mine? If I do that, then that's pretty much 100% done, because that's the hardest thing in the entire game. It will probably take me a few tries, though, because it's not easy. I mean, it's not that hard once you've like done it a couple of times, which I have, but it'll still take a few tries. Uh, let's see. 
Let's see. I couldn't get this earlier because... You know, obviously, Bane was here. And then you got the boss fight. What's next? There's one up there. That room, damn it. Seriously, I only hope Joker hasn't completely trashed the city. Oh well, I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. Wait, have you been in contact with the Joker? He escaped off the weeks ago. And yet, one hears things. What things? What you heard? Oh, something about a surprise party for Batman. I forget the rest. You know Joker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edward, you didn't know anything you've got to tell me. Lives could be at stake. What did Joker say? You forget, Doctor. I'm the one who asks the riddles. It better be up here. I don't think it is. Hold on. Oh yeah, it, it should be. Oh man, where is it? It's back there, isn't it? Damn it. That's freaking annoying. So about there isn't like a... You could just like smash through that glass right there or something. <sighs> okay, do it now. It must be a question mark. Or not. Oh, wait, where is it? This one's annoying. Oh, man, what? Is this destroyable? I don't think it is, but whatever. We'll give it a shot. I'm stood right on top of it. Well, kinda. It's hovering into the wall, but I don't think there's any vents. <coughs> Just scan everything, I guess. Oh, wait. Oh no, it's a light. I thought it was a dot. Oh. Oh, wait. There's a ceiling. Oh no, it's not. Oh, god damn it. Where is it? Well, this one's a tricky one. Too bad they can't all be this difficult because it's like, it's more fun. It's more fun when you actually need to, like, use your brain. But, yeah, this is kind of annoying actually, so. Hmm. <clears throat> <sighs> Is 
Is there something in there? Oh, it's the teddy bear? God damn it. Okay, I I've figured it out now, though. Kind of annoying, though. I just wasted, like, ten minutes trying to figure that out. Never mind. That's the fun of it, I guess. I don't remember the Riddler in Arkham City being that tough, though. I think they made the riddles easier. <clears throat> the only ones that you might get stuck on are where you've got to actually go and... There's like six times you've got to go and, like, meet up with him. And you set traps for you, and you might probably die the first time you do them. But they're fun, though. Alright. Is that... I think that's all of them. Nope, we've got a Arkham thingy to find. I think. Oh, is that just saying that it's Joker Death? Give peace to it. Yeah, I think I've done it. I think that's it. <coughs> I'll go back outside and then I'm going to do some of these uh, combat maps now. I'll do the combat ones because the predator ones take a while to figure out. The combat ones are harder anyway. Damn it. Does that mean I've got to go all the way back around again? At least we're done with this building. See, the Bane fight just, like, warps you out of this building and then you don't have to come back through this way, but... Obviously, this time I've got to actually go through it. Go back through it. Wait. I thought I saw a question mark. No. Hold on. Hold on, this is destroyable though, isn't it? It'd be annoying if, uh... No, it's not. You know, if there was like, um... 241 out of 240, like they do a... They did a Insomniac Games with it or something. That would suck. Like, it doesn't suck for those games, but it sucks for something like this that takes so long anyways. <clears throat> uh, now where? There. I'm basically just getting outside because then I don't need to do that the next time I stream. Because I'm, I'm not doing this game tomorrow, I'm doing a Crash Bandicoot trilogy, so... But yeah, next time I play I won't have to come through this way all over again. So, please be excited, etc. Alright. The stream's about to pick up some now, because I'm going to do some fighting. I shouldn't really die that much, because I'm not that bad with the combat system, but, yeah. This, uh, this one's definitely harder than Arkham City. Uh, Arkham Island West. Okay. Go out this way, because it's closer. I assume that I've got all the teeth because it was still listed. Right, I'll just get these last few ones in this area actually because there's a few. Mostly over there. Not sure why the fireworks are still going. That's where the boss fight takes place, anyway, up there. The final boss. But yeah, it's definitely easier going through getting the trophies now, rather than uh, when there's snipers everywhere. I 
think it's there it is. Uh, there's a few there. Okay, we'll just get these three, which I can hopefully get, you know, find. Ugh, oh, idiot. Okay, there's one there, and there's one in the vent cover. And then it'll save it, because that's, you know, auto-save for the win. What do you call the detective who is only halfway to the end? Oh, that's good. I've got half of them, so yeah. You see it now, you don't. Alright, we're gonna do some combat maps now. Because I think I've unlocked most of them. Shock and Arc Stream being the hardest one. Yeah, 121 out of 240, so. Upgrades 18 out of 20. 71% overall. Alright, challenge mode. No, I don't want to sign in. Don't care. Um, you've got. You might as well use Batman Armored, but. Thing is, though, if you're gonna die, then it doesn't really help that much. Right, we'll just do the combat ones. Starting with the easiest one. <coughs> so, the trick here is just basically don't lose your combo. And also get variation bonuses, so. See if I can get into this. I got a um, stun. You kind of want to end with a ground pound, but yeah, it doesn't matter. This is like easy map anyway, so you don't really need to go for it yet. Also, don't lose any health. That gives you a huge bonus at the end. I think it gives you like. Um, 5,000 points. And I just lost the combo. Because he was a retard. Anyway, I ended with a ground pound, but yeah. I've actually lost health now as well, so I might need to restart. That might have just cost me the, the hey, challenge. Go easy on him. There we go. Get a stun. Aerial. Alright. <sighs> Last round. I don't think we're gonna do this. <clears throat> Come on, boys, he's just one man! One man dressed like a lunatic and armed with a team. <laughs> go get him! Yeah. Last round. I think you only need 15k actually, so I might still do it, but I just lost a combo again and again. So I'm trying to counter those guys and it's just not working out. Oh, man, I didn't want to. Oh, got it. Shit. It might. I think it's 18k actually, so. Yeah. I ended with a crown, ground pound though. See how much points that gets. I don't know, I might not get it. Did I tell you I was going to kill each hatch who failed to beat you? Shit, I got it. No. I just got oh, it though. That was uh, pretty close actually. Just don't want to lose a uh, combo basically. The extreme versions you don't want to lose combo because that just. If you lose combo there, you just gotta start over. Absolutely must not end combo. Yeah, 
let me start that. Should not have, uh, should have lost it there, but he just didn't want to do it for some reason. <clears throat> I think this is actually the worst map for the Joker, this one. Sometimes your combo just ends for no reason. I'll also be doing the Joker maps, but I'm not, um, it doesn't count towards 100%, so you don't have to do them. Ah, I should have ended with a throw there. Would have given me an extra variation. Never mind. Come on, boys. He's just one man. One man dressed like a lunatic and armed with a G. <laughs> Go get him! Right, throw him. But don't hit anybody with him. Just had to end with a regular punch there, that was kind of weak. Points was. Need to order more henchmen. Good ones this time. I got a I, oh is it 18k for each of them? It must be. Until the uh, extreme editions. Oh. God damn it. I don't know how I didn't just break my combo there, but yeah. I actually should have done. Yeah. Should have ended with that, but. You know. <clears throat> In Arkham City, you can actually do a triple stun and it grounds them so you could do it, but when there's only like one person left, it's impossible. If I don't get hit here, I'll get the uh, 5k at the end. Even though I don't need it, because I'm gonna. Oh shit, I should have took that guy out. Yeah, I'm gonna get it now anyway, but yeah. There you go. I should have took that guy out before, because he's. A pain in the ass, basically. There's also. Guns, I believe, on the. Um... Oh, I've got it. On the Extreme Edition, so you need to. Watch out for that. That's another combat map done. Okay. Two out of two so far. I think uh, there's only... There's eight combat and eight predator. Most of the predator ones are actually locked out because I've not knocked them yet. Hence, needing Riddler... Riddles. Ultimately. I don't also have all the... Um, Upgrades, so that's kind of not good. Alright, so this is shock and extreme, but just the regular version, so it's not that hard. I think if you ring out people, which is throwing them over the side, duh, then you get more points, but I don't know. We're gonna stun this guy just to get. Oh shit, I didn't realize you were still alive, damn it. Also, you're timed, yes. You gotta do it. That's why Shock and Extreme is so difficult because it doesn't really give you much time. You can't really. Oh, damn, I should have. No. I might need to restart here. Yeah, I'm gonna need to restart now. Restart. <clears throat> no. <coughs> I have got uh, Shotgun Extreme unlocked. And Basically, this gives you like 30 seconds. Well, 43 actually, but the Extreme. Ver oh, go on, throw him out. Got it. Good. Alright, take him down. Damn, I launched those guys. That was pretty damn good. I didn't really want to take them out like that though, because it was... Less combo. Good ones this time. Yeah. I've heard that phrase so many times trying to do these. Oh, 
I nearly messed that up by getting hit by that guy. Do not get hit, please. I'm not going to wing him out, but I'm still going to get the variation bonus there. Fuck. I should have got the quick hit on that guy. And it's just messed up the round again. It's okay when they pick up bats and whatnot, but when they pick those goddamn things up. Yeah. That garbage. Do it again. I actually think the extreme version is easier because there's more people to take out. It's just the time that you've got to do it in. I think I already mentioned it, but the difficulty that you choose at the beginning of the game does not affect these maps at all, I don't think. It's the same difficulty regardless, which is, like, normal. Or equal to normal. I didn't lose the combo, but I nearly did. Because I was going to counter that guy, but like, he moved away from him, so... That's what you've got to do, you just got to be careful timing-wise. Yes! See, that time... I nearly freaking got hit, though. Stun. Aerial. Normal blow, but whatever. I couldn't do much else. Damn, what the hell? How many points do you need? 30k? Round three. I take one, yeah, 10k, 30k. That's a lot of points for a regular. I hope there's enough guys. That's the thing, there's gotta be enough guys to do it with, but. Shit. Close. Shit. Again. Close as hell. Oh, damn it, that guy's picked those things up. Was aiming for the... Stunning. It's easier just to take him out, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not gonna get the... Hmm. Oh, well, I finish on a critical. Uh, you know. Yeah, critical. This next round needs to go flawlessly, otherwise I'm not going to get it. Although I will get 5k. <laughs> if I don't get hit. Which I nearly freaking did right off the bat. Also, Zaz is in this uh, fight, so... He's not now, though. <sighs> so long. Yeah, just don't get hit. Try and rig him out. Didn't get it. Oh, God damn it, you... No, that was close. I thought you got the wrong guy there, so that was good. Well, I got variation, I guess, whatever. Although I haven't stunned anybody yet. Until now. I need the ground pound though, that's the thing. I've, I've got it anyway, so. Well, I've got, I've got both, but whatever. <laughs> it's kind of tight, that one. I get 5k though. Alright, I think I've got the normal. Plant one? Yeah, I've got it. I don't think there's any, um... Titans on this one, so it's pretty easy. There might be one at the end, I'm not sure. But I, I think there's two on the extreme version. It's kind of difficult, but not as difficult as Shocking Art Extreme. Oh, 
take him out. Yeah, got him. I think this one's actually kind of easy because there's a lot of people. See, that shock and extreme one's kind of difficult because there's not that many. Also, you're not timed on this one. So you can take as long as you like, basically. Alright, get a stun. Get an aerial, which I think I already had, but yeah. Just get that uh, variation bonus thing. You can get more if you do like battle rangs and stuff, but I'm not comfortable doing that. Also, yeah, watch out for the people throwing shit as well. They do that a lot on this one. Damn it, I kind of wanted to hit that guy. Shit. Almost. But, I don't need to worry about uh, throwing somebody now, so that's good. That's good times. I got a medal. I got 10k. If I can keep this uh, combo going, then... I should maybe get the second medal on this one. Ah, oh, damn it. I already did that, to be honest. Ah, shit, you son of a bitch. You were right there. That would have been, like, easily two medals right there if I'd have got the ground pound up him, on him, but I didn't. I didn't get hit, though, so that's... You know, fuck... 5k. Oh, it's only round 3. Oh, man. I, okay. Well, pretty much should get it then. I thought that was round 3 that we just did, so. Watch out for that guy, because he's gonna freaking go into him. Get. No, wrong guy. Oh, no, that's the right guy. Okay. Shit. Risky. Risky. I, I'll get a... I think I've probably got a stun on somebody, but I'll just do it there anyway, because I think... I might not. Okay. <clears throat> Don't really need the 5k. That's what I'm saying. Like, you get... Oh shit, this time. Chances of getting hit are pretty high, no? And I just lost my combo. It's kind of hard to keep a combo on this one though, to be honest. But the extreme version of this level, you definitely do need it. And I just got hit. It doesn't matter anyway, because I'm going to get the... I'm going to get the medal. Come on, jump off him. Oh, I got it anyway, whatever. There's no way to actually jump off him, you just gotta wait until he's like, done. I don't need to do that anymore. Right, just he takes him out anyway. If there's no henchman, you just do a beat down on him. That's good. To <laughs> Did I tell you I was going to kill each henchman who failed to beat <clears throat> you? No. <sighs> okay, extremes now. One is locked out. Two is locked out. So I've only actually got shock and extreme in this one. So we'll do. <coughs> it's uh, mainly shock, shock and extreme anyway. If I can do that, then I'm. 100% in the bag, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We are live at the big arc of fight. Have you Definitely don't face? want to mess up now. If you get a, if you lose your combo, just restart because 
It's impossible to come back from that. Okay, I need a throw combination, actually. Which I'll get on this guy. Ah, I lost the combo. Was that the last guy? No. Never mind. I could have got the ground pound, but I didn't. I don't think it's called ground pound, but it's it's something like that. Ladies ground punch. I got a counter actually, so that's good. I didn't get that last time. He hits. He, when he throws somebody, he actually manages to hit somebody, even though it's like nowhere near. See, I should have ended with a ground pound. Either that or the, uh, well, I should have actually done a critical, but... I was seeing if that would work. I don't know, man. So long as I don't get hit, and I get the 5k, I should get it anyway, but... You know, it is the first extreme, so it's not that hard. Ring out. Got it. Oh shit. Ah, man, that would have been sweet if I'd have gotten two there. Might still do this. Need to order more henchmen. Good ones this time. Good ones this time. They're all the same. Oh shit, guns. Even when they manage to get all of them, they still hesitate to use them, so it's not like, oh, I need to take them out now. But, you know, you do need to be quick, because they will Shh. use them in a breaky combo. Bring out. Yeah, I got it. Just, just about. If I can end on a ground pound in this round, though. Right, I'll end on a on that because there's nothing else I can do there. If you use the back claw to pull them towards you, it, they will fall over, but it's it takes time for them to fall over, so it breaks the combo. I think I might still do this actually. Oh, Zaz is in this as well. I thought he was only on shopping extreme. That's weird. That guy's got the gun. I don't think I can get to him in time. Yeah, he's got it. I think, is it 30k? I'm not sure. I'm assuming it is. Nice round number. Yeah, I've got it. Sweet! That actually went better than uh, the very first original map. Plus 5k, I don't think I got hit. If I can get that on Shock and Extreme, then I'll do it. <clears throat> Which is coming up now, so let's do it. This might take about 10 tries. Or more. It'd be awesome if I did it first try, though. Yep. Ladies and murderers, welcome to the big fight. Batman. Here we go. Not a good start. It's also kind of dark, so seeing those guys in red is actually not as easy as you think. Yes! 
Alright, ring out. Absolutely need to get, like, every kind of combo going here and just... Absolute flawless, basically. <sighs> One guy. That was kind of risky, because uh, that guy was still going around. I wanted to end with the ground pound, but I couldn't. Hopefully one round I get it. Uh, that's... Go easy on him. For me. Oh, hell, what do I get? I, I try to start with this, but... It's kind of... I don't really like to do it. Ring out. That's easy ring out right there, actually. We Even hit the end wall, so... I right, don't get hit, though. Don't lose concentration. I'm surprised I actually got uh, the first medal after just one round, but that's it. You can't, it, once you get hit, that's it. You just got to do it again. <sighs> I should get this, though. I was never going to do it first time. Or second time. Maybe not even third time, but let's do it. Wrong guy! I wasn't even... Yeah. Oh, what? Uh, see what I mean? You can't even... That guy was in... Yeah. I didn't even see that. The lighting is so bad on this uh, level. It's kind of annoying, that is. It's the main event! Batman versus the most <coughs> Right, take that guy out, because I don't freaking like him. The other one's not so bad, but still. Alright, ring out. Stun. Aerial. Kick in the face. Etc. You know what you gotta do. Oh, damn, ring out again. Shit, I'm not gonna get the ground pound now. Yeah, that was annoying. I needed that ground pound, and I didn't get it. I don't know how many points a ring out will actually get you, and that was kind of risky right there. Shit, that I forgot about that actually. The guns are on like different levels, so. Yeah. See what I mean? It, that breaks your combo right there, but. Nothing you can do about that, unfortunately. What happened? Oh, did you take him out? I was gonna ground pound him. Shit! Zaz is in round three. Oh, I just lost the combo. Big out! Watch out. Oh shit, I've actually just knocked, like, everybody over the side right there. Oh shit, I ended with a ground pound, nice. Major points. I don't think I got hit either. But this next round needs to go flawlessly, otherwise I won't get it. And I mean, like, well, I mean, I mean, get not get hit, but you know, that bastard just hit me, so... Could probably still do it, but... Very unlikely, yeah, it's very, very unlikely. I think you get a lot of points for ring outs, actually. Because I ringed out like three people in that last round and I wasn't even aiming for it, so. That was kind of. kind of cool. <clears throat> get a stun just to put it in there. 
time is at 22 seconds, shit. That's the thing with this... with this map. It's gonna be tight. I should get a good... Oh, you bastard! Why'd you fucking do that, you twat? Yeah, fuck this game. Messed up at the end. I, I might still get it. I don't know what it is. Is it 32,000? So you want the deal? I got much bigger plans for you. Bastards at the end messed me up. Almost got it. I think it's 32k. <coughs> I would. It doesn't matter what it was. I would have gotten it if I hadn't got punched, slapped about like a freaking bitch at the end. Do it this time. Fuck you. Doesn't even it doesn't give you any time either. It's just like it just the the warning comes up and then it's just like the he he lands the punch so it doesn't matter. <sighs> Come on, man. Were you even loading? We've just been on this level. <clears throat> Bring that guy out, because I don't want him. For fuck's sake! I can't even do it now. Definitely getting this done tonight. Not, not giving up on it. Want to jump. Kick his ass. Ring out. Wrong guy. Oh no, that's. Yeah, that's right. Never mind. Hi, Ring. That's, uh, that's just luck, though. Sometimes you get that. <sighs> Should have got the critical on him. Oh, Ring out! Good thing I didn't do that then, because I just maybe got a lot of points for doing that. I need a counter basically, but I don't know. Sometimes it's kind of risky doing that. Oh, that guy's just. When they start going for the guns, that's when you freaking. That just ruins the combo basically, but. There is nothing you can do about it. Like, where, where the. Where. Oh, that. See what I mean? That freaking guy. See, it shouldn't it shouldn't end the combo when you've got to actually run to the guy. That's just stupid. It really is. It that's just dumb. Come on, boys. Couldn't they have put the guns in the main part where you're fighting? Because it's it's stupid. You're gonna climb over that over that rail and you're just gonna lose your combo, so like, you know, what the hell do they expect? It's the only thing with this map. Doesn't make any sense that they do that. Try and bring that guy out as well. 